so let's see what is the questions and what will be the best answer for that okay so as you can see here this is one table called as the orders table if we will go to this table view here you can see this order table okay this is the order table and this order table contain three column one is order date second is category and next is cells okay so out of these three columns we have to find out category wise last n month cell okay so in place of n we can put as 12 month or 6 month or 5 month whatever that may be okay so the question is that you have to find out the category wise last 12 month cells okay so as you can see here this is the orders table and if we will expand this here we can see the category order date and cells right and if you will further expand this order date inside this we can get the year quarter month and day right <clears throat> so let's see how many years of data this is okay so for that let me select one matrix visa okay and inside this i am passing this year value okay so it contained 2016 17 18 and 19 data it means four years of data are available okay so let me remove this one okay so let's create one table okay this is the table visual and inside this table visual i am taking the category okay this is the category because we have to find out category wise last 12 month cells right so this is the category column okay category wise it will drag this cells column inside this it will give us the total cells as per the category okay but our need is we have to find out the category wise last only 12 month cells all right so how can we do that for that we have to create a measure okay so let's create a new measure so right click on this orders table then click on the new measures okay and here just rename it as last 12 month cells okay equal to here first of all we have to write the dex functions that is calculate okay because we are going to calculate the sum of total cells okay calculate sum of total cells then give the comma okay then we have to use another text functions that is dates in period okay this is another dex formula okay so this formula returns the dates from the given period okay and it's take the argument as the dates then start date number of intervals and interval okay so we will take date column okay it means the order date is here right so we have to write that order date here so simple write order date okay all right then give the comma the next argument is start date so in place of start date we are taking the max of order date okay so this is the order date column we have to find out the max of that okay then then close the bracket and give the comma okay then third argument is number of interval okay so in place of number of interval we will pass minus 12 okay last 12 month cells it means here in the number of interval it will be minus 12 okay if it will be last six month cells then we can write here as minus six okay but as per the requirement we have to find out the last 12 month cells so here we have to write minus 12 okay then give the comma then the last argument of this dates inferior is interval right so in place of interval you have to give the day month quarter or year okay as per your requirement you have to select anyone from here so we have to find out last 12 month cells right so anyhow we are here we have to select the month okay then close the bracket again close the bracket then click enter and here you can see we have successfully created the measure called as the last 12 month cells right so now just select this table view and drag this last 12 month measure inside this okay and here you can see this is the category column this is the sum of cells okay and this is last 12 month cells all right so total cells is 22 lakh 97 .86. But last 12 month cells is 7,33,215.26. Okay. And this is the segregations of this total cells as per the category. Okay. So in this way, we can find out last N month cells from this given data set. All right. So thanks for watching.